Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jonathan. Welcome back to my Amazon selling channel, Duke Does Amazon. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to explain what is the buy box, why it's important to win the buy box, and how to win the buy box. So, this is a very common term that you're going to hear all throughout Amazon, especially if you're a new beginner, you might be wondering what exactly does that mean. So first things first, let me show you what exactly the buy box is and then we'll hop into more information about it. So here we go. Guys, so I am uh, on amazon.com. Uh, I am looking at this through the lens of a customer. So rest assured, this is not my seller account. And I just, <clears throat> I just typed in a random product and came across this and it worked good for the tutorial purpose. So focus on the right side of the screen where the cursor is, okay? This is what's referred to as the buy box, where you see how there's the add to cart button and the buy now button. 80 plus percent of sales take place in the buy box. So if you're not in the buy box, you're not getting sales, okay? And I wanna look a little bit further into this. You'll see here, it's sold by Arthur Emery LLC and fulfilled by Amazon. That means this is an FBA product. Arthur Emery bought the inventory, shipped it to Amazon. It's in their warehouse and Amazon is fulfilling the order. Okay, so now that you know what the buy box is, let's talk a little bit more about it. First things first, this is one of those things that you need to understand. The Being in the buy box is critical, critical to sales on Amazon. Every bit of research I've done, the common number is 80% minimum. So 80% and above of all sales take place in the buy box. So that's why it's so critical to be in the buy box, okay? So not making somebody to click on the other options of seeing more, you know, um, other selling options, which I'll show you here. And then lastly, I wanna show you Arthur Emery is not the only seller. Here you'll see there's actually eight other sellers and we'll click on that. But at this moment, they're not in the buy box. Some might be eligible for the buy box and it's just not their turn. And others might not be eligible at all because of pricing, uh, because they're doing FBM or a variety of reasons that we'll dive into. But the biggest thing I want you to understand right now is what is referred to as the buy box, which is this whole column to the right with the add to cart and buy now options, which make it so easy and why it makes sense that that's where the majority of the sales happen. This is part of Amazon. This is one of those things, there's no clear cut formula on how to win the buy box. There's just kind of a lot of curated information on the important bullets that are required to win the buy box and to be buy box eligible, okay? So there's a variety of metrics that come into play. One of them being a professional seller, Two, your time and experience, so basically your resume on Amazon, um, your defect rate. So think about this, if you send things to customers and they're constantly complaining, saying that, hey, this isn't new, or, um, or, or you know, you listed it in new condition and it came to them with a, with a scratch or a dent or whatever it is, so that'll come into play. And really your overall account health will come into play as well. Um, if you do FBA versus FBM, I've done a couple videos on that, but real quick, FBA is when you take your product and you send it to Amazon to store in their warehouse, they fulfill the orders. Fulfillment by Amazon is what FBA stands for, as opposed to FBM, fulfillment by merchant. Also, so your product is gonna be listed as prime, so there's an advantage there, okay? Price is a really, really big factor in winning the buy box, okay? So if you're a brand new seller and you have things listed, you have to constantly pay attention to what the current buy box price is and, and adjust your prices accordingly. This is why I'm only big on two subscriptions for any beginner, Inventory Lab and Keepa. Um, but as soon as you can and you have enough inventory, a repricer is pretty much essential as well because once you have so much inventory, you won't have the time to constantly, all day, every day, change the prices manually. And with a repricer, basically you set the minimum that you're willing to sell it for, you set the maximum, and the repricer will adjust uh, without you having to do anything. And that's why I think it is so critical 
if you're serious about it. And those are the only three uh, subscriptions that I think you really need, okay? Um, also, I wanna note, the lowest price does not always win the buy box, and I'm glad to report that. Amazon is not a platform where it's just this race to the bottom. You're gonna hear that term a lot. The people that just want to undercut everybody and ruin the price so nobody makes profit. Keep in mind, Amazon takes a fee based on the percentage of the sale. They don't want it to just be the lowest price. Now they'll keep you in check that it needs to be a reasonable price and within a certain price range, but they don't want everyone to just go all the way to the bottom because it'll, you know, it, it doesn't be it benefit anybody. Okay, so the lowest price does not always win the buy box, all right? Um, another metric is that you have to regularly have available inventory of this product. Now that's not to say that if you send in one product one time that it's not gonna win the buy box, assuming all the other metrics are met, but it's gonna be an advantage if you consistently prove that you have this readily available, okay? It's kind of incentivizing you to make sure that you keep having Amazon stocked with profitable quick selling items, right? And then something else I wanna mention, the buy box rotates. So let's just say hypothetically that you meet all of these parameters and somebody else meets all of these parameters and another person meets all of these parameters. So there's three competitive sellers. They're all doing FBA, they all have been selling for a year, they all have a 100% track record. You know, I'm just making this up to show you that everything's the same and you guys are priced identically. Let's say that there's 30 sales per month on average and there's three competitive identical sellers. In theory, each of us would get 10 sales, okay? So they rotate it, all right? And so that's really important to know. Sometimes you'll have an advantage on the buy box if your inventory happens to be in like, let's say, Michigan, right? And somebody looking to buy is in New York as opposed to your competitor, their inventory is in California and someone's looking to buy in New York. Less footprint, less, less shipping costs for Amazon. So things like that come into play. And um, also keep in mind, the price doesn't have to be identical to win the buy box. So like if something is listed in the buy box for $20, the general rule of thumb, as long as you're within 5% of that, or you know, let's just say less than a dollar, you know, so if the buy box is $20 and you list yours for $20.49, you still could be buy box eligible. It doesn't mean that you won't win it. You know, if you're still the better product to go to the end user, you still could win it. And it's another way of saying, don't keep undercutting other sellers and ruining the price for everybody, for Amazon, for you and the, your competition. It just, everybody loses when people continue to undercut and that's another reason why I believe Amazon doesn't just reward the lowest price because everybody wins. Um, so that's why if you price closely, it doesn't have to be identical, it doesn't have to be undercut, uh, kind of keeps things fair. All right, I do wanna add something to this too. I don't want anyone to be scared or to say, hey, well, I'm a brand new seller. I don't have a track record. I don't have proven history. I don't have all of these reviews. Don't worry. All of those metrics I'm listing are just things that work in your favor, but trust me, you'll win the buy box as long as you're priced appropriately, you're doing FBA, um, you know, it's not, there's millions of Amazon sellers. Nobody just starts right off the bat and, um, and just has this miraculous like tra you know, track record. It's just impossible, so don't worry about that. I just wanna emphasize, those metrics all help you um, and as you get going, it's only you're only gonna win more and more buy boxes, but as long as you have high demand products, you have it in stock and you're priced appropriately, and uh, when you're brand new, you will have opportunities to win the buy box. Don't be discouraged by any means. I hope you guys kinda understand now what is the buy box, why it's really important to win the buy box, because that's essentially where all the sales take place, and basically the general rule of thumb is you have to have a lot of uh, good metrics from your account health, doing things right, uh, pricing things properly is the biggest. It has to be FBA. It doesn't have to be FBA, but 99% of the time it has to be FBA from my experience. And as long as you keep doing the right things, you'll win the buy box. But yeah, reprice her as soon as possible. And so yeah, if you guys have any questions about this or anything else, leave it below and I would be happy to answer that or on any topic in general. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon.